Hey guys, Dr. Josh McLean here at Body Rejuvenation. I hope you guys are having a great start to your summer. The wrestling world is starting to open back up a little bit, but I want to show you guys three different positions uh, that will help you understand neuromotor control. And before I show you those three important positions, I want you to look really quick at these pictures that I'm flashing up on the screen and see the difference between the green circle and the red circle. And this is exactly what I mean by neuromotor control, which is the ability to turn on certain muscles and coordinate nerves with the muscles to get you the results that you want. And when we start talking from our youth athletes up to our high level high school athletes, many athletes never focus on the proper form, the technique, the learning, the coordinating of these movement patterns that are so specific to wrestling. And when I start to talk through this stuff, I want you guys to try this with your athletes so you know if they're doing these certain things, they don't need to be lifting 350 pounds. They don't need to be maxing out their bench press right now. They need to learn how to lift and coordinate these movement patterns so that they can step back on the mat this fall, this preseason, and this winter to get better and be the best that they can be, right? So the, the critical positions that we start to see are the control in a single leg position. So the first test that I have for you is literally a single leg pistol squat. I want you to find something that is about mid height up to the knee. So that you'll notice this chair works out pretty good for me. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be on one leg. What I want you to do is I want you to have them go down, tap their butt and come back up. The key point is tap their butt and come back up, not sit and rock and then come back up. So as you go through here, it should look something like this, a tap and a come back up. If you start to see this, okay, if I see this knee go jutting inward, their chest go down and their head go down to try to get up out of there, or they're not able to get up and out and they have to rock to get it, you know that they're having issues with neuromotor control. They don't know how to coordinate uh, their hip muscles to stop their knee from going inward. And once they feel weak in the hip muscles, they try to do it all with their back and go through this position. So then we get them in that hunched over position, which you just saw quite a bit of in that uh, series of pictures that I showed you. The next one I want you to do is I want you to take a quarter for the youth athletes, a quarter of their body weight, put it in a dumbbell or a milk jug or a backpack or whatever you have available. And same thing for high school athletes, but I want you to do half of their body weight. And there's reasons why, obviously high school, they're supposed to start maturing a little bit, getting more muscular strength. But when we start looking at this position, this is a great representation of our shots and how we start to work through there. So it's a Bulgarian split squat position. I put the dumbbell up in a goblet position right here underneath my chin with half my body weight. I go down, I tap my back knee and I come back up. I go down, I tap my back knee and I come back up. What you're gonna see if they struggle in this position is they're gonna go down right here and they're gonna set the dumbbell down on their leg. Their hips are gonna go backwards and their head's gonna start heading down. They're gonna rest it on their leg. They're gonna go here, drive their butt up and then try to stand up from there or they're gonna lose their balance as they go through there. That is a perfect representation of coming up and out of a shot with some sort of resistance here, right? I'm holding the leg, I'm in on my shot, whether it's a high crotch, I'm coming into a single, whatever it may be, I'm holding that leg up high here, which would be like a goblet position here. And now I have to be able to drive up and through that thing. Instead, if I go here and kick my hips back out, what's gonna happen? I give this guy space. Once he has space, he's gonna sprawl on my head, uh, shove me down, and now we're scrambling for the position. Okay, so that's number two. The third one, the last one, I need somewhere a little bit higher. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna sneak over here. I want it right about rib height. Okay, so when I got rib height, I know that that's about the height of a single, right? If somebody gets me up in a single over here in their armpit, I know it's about uh, rib height. So I'm gonna put my back foot up there. And now the goal here is to have the perks of Crocs. So the goal here is to have them be able to hop and move on that back foot while keeping their chest up tall as they're going. So a lot of times you'll see this, they'll turn their foot out, they try to turn to the side, they start to hunch over a little bit here. A lot of people call it a flexibility issue, but if any of you guys know me, I am not the most flexible person in the world. Um, but I have learned how to coordinate that position with my foot up high. I know I can keep hopping and keep moving on that back foot if I cannot, right? This is one of those positions where parents say all the time, like, hey, well, why do, we, why do we need to work on this? Because if somebody gets me up in a single and I'm not able to move and I'm not able to hop and I'm not able to keep my back foot agile, once I stop, all they got to do is pull, 
push, do something to drive on that uh, knee that's up or that leg that's up, and I'm going straight into the mat, right? So I want you guys to see what they can do up in that position. 30 seconds non-stop movement. If they start to get tired, hunching over, they cannot move that back foot anymore. You know it's a neuromotor control issue that they need to start working on. So if you see any of these things with your student athlete, let me know and I will get you guys started on the neuromotor control program for wrestlers. Hope that helps. Check it out. We'll see you guys on the inside.